Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What's going on, people? It's your boy Abu Samra back with another video. Now, before I get into this vlog, I just want to mention something very, very quickly. Now, if you're into football, whether it be football from the past, currently, or you're interested in the future, then I've got a podcast for you. This football podcast is called No Limit Football Podcast. Um, and I was recently asked to be the host of that podcast as well. Um, shout out to Sinistat and the doc who uh, are the original hosts on there. Um, so like I said, you know, every week we bring on, or every fortnight, I should say, we bring in uh, guests from all over the world and we basically discuss different topics around in football, such as, you know, the greatest players of all time, uh, the current state of football right now and what the future holds. We look at different teams, golden years and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to put the link to the latest episode in the description and make sure you guys check that out. All right, cool. Let's get into the video now. Now, forgive me if my voice sounds a bit mad and if I keep coughing, I'm recovering from a cold. So yeah, just excuse me there. Can you believe I've already been in Saudi for one year? Crazy, man. Now, even though I haven't been here that long, I have to say that I've met some very, very nice people in my year in Saudi Arabia so far, uh, both Saudi and non-Saudi. So one of my friends sent me a message and said, listen, we're gonna go on an off-road trip. You need to come, bring your camera, cause it's gonna be fire. I was like, all right, cool, let's do it. So the place we're basically heading to is Athumama. And I've heard about this place from numerous people. They always tell me to go in the winter when the weather's a lot cooler. So it was always on my mind to go and check it out. But you know, thankfully someone actually gave me that push and gave me a reason to go. So I was like, cool, let's go. Now I went with uh, my three friends, Ziad, Badr and Mish'al. Um, I've known Ziad and Badr for almost a year now. And Mish'al I met a couple of months ago, but you know, we get along very, very well. Now this isn't gonna be like the usual vlog uh, because when I tried to vlog at Thumama, um, there was just so much noise and there was basically no use speaking. Let me show you an example. So it's finally quiet now, I can actually... <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna have to do this video a bit differently. So I met up with Ziad first and we wanted to make our way there like quite quickly after Salat al-Jum'ah. So I met up with Ziad first and then I met up with Badr and Mish'al over there. Now what I didn't realize was when we met up with the gang, we were only on the outskirts of Thumama. So he told me that we were going to go deep into Athumama where there are just basically sand dunes there. It was literally going to be in the middle of the desert. So I didn't really know what to expect. I just knew that I was very, very excited. The time it took from where we met up to get to the sand dunes was basically about maybe 20, 25 minutes maybe. I can't really remember. And I have to say it was the bumpiest ride I had ever been on. <laughs> I basically hit my head at the top of the car <laughs> but it's fun it's all part of the experience so when we basically got to the place he basically had to reduce the air pressure in the tire because had he not done that the car would have been stuck in the in the sand and that's something that I didn't know but you know when it comes to cars and men in Saudi Arabia they got a lot of knowledge. They're really into cars and, you know, the different types of cars and whatnot. So, you know, that was a learning experience for me. And then we went up the sand dunes. Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> We're about to go round two right now. Speeding up was fun, coming down, not so much. <laughs> A bit scary, but yeah, we're gonna go round two, inshallah.
So we basically repeated that twice and then three times. And then after that, it was like, all right, you know what? Let's go up to the sand dunes. Let's go to the highest point And let's basically just, you know, park the car there and we'll chill there. And when I tell you the view was banging, the view was banging. Check this out. Now, I'm not going to lie. When we got to the top of the sand dunes, I didn't realize so many people were there. And I didn't expect so many people to be there. So once the car was parked up and everything, um, you know, we basically laid out like a like a rug. And, uh, you know, Ziad basically brought, um, you know, coffee beans and, and tea and everything. And he brought the glasses and the teapots and everything. Now, if you guys don't know, Arabic coffee in Saudi Arabia is amazing. I'm not even that much of a coffee guy, but Arabic coffee... And yeah, you know, in the desert, that's basically what they do. You know, they have Arabic coffee, tea, they get dates. Uh, sometimes they bring kabsa, which is basically meat with rice, and you've got different types of kabsa as well. And, you know, we were just talking, chilling, relaxing. You know, I was just taking in the view and just basically enjoying the experience, to be honest with you. Being in the middle of the desert at night, it's not something you can explain, it's just something you have to do. Now, while we were there, I learned a little bit about hospitality in Saudi Arabia. So what I basically learned was if you've been given tea or coffee, there are ways to basically signal that you've had enough. Okay, and if, you, if you've had enough? Nice. So one way was you can basically cover the cup. Well, they call it finjal in, in, in Saudi Arabia. Finjal is basically one of those tiny cups. So you can cover the finjal with your hand and give it to the person who was pouring the coffee. Or you can just basically, you know, shake the finjal a little bit. And then they'll basically understand that as, all right, he doesn't want any more coffee. Now, something else that I saw while I was there, which I'm pretty used to by now after being in Egypt and, you know, uh, being here in Saudi Arabia, was they were just offering strangers coffee and water, you know, and they insisted, hey, look, man, just, you know, have some. It's on us, take it. And again, they didn't even know these guys. So it was an interesting interaction to see. Anyway, yeah, we're just having some very nice tea in the middle of the desert. This is life, the life. So that's basically what we did. You know, we were drinking coffee, tea. Ziad makes amazing tea, by the way. I don't know what this guy does, but it is amazing tea, Ziad. Shout out to you, man. They were also reciting some poetry as well. Poetry is a big thing here in Saudi Arabia. So that was also nice to see. And yeah, man, overall, it was just a great experience. But it got very, very cold towards the end. And then after that, we basically went back home. Let's make a donut. Okay, talk much. We'll make a donut. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> I have to say that is something I definitely want to do again in the future and something that Ziad suggested that I do is spend a couple nights in the desert I was like bro that sounds like a vibe I'd be more than happy to do that so hopefully I do that before the winter ends because uh, I know that's going to be an experience and that's something I can't miss out on so yeah man I'm gonna definitely do that so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this vlog slash commentary I mean I really wanted to do things the proper way, but because it was just so loud over there. And even when I thought, as you saw in the clip, you know, okay, now is a good time to kind of talk. It just, it, it didn't work out in the end. Yeah, I just thought I'd share the experience with you guys. And um, yeah, man, that's basically it. More videos will be coming soon, inshallah. Um, I just don't know when, but you know, if you haven't subscribed already, then subscribe, click the bell, all of that stuff. Follow me on Instagram right here as well. And if you're Saudi and you're watching this and you have any ideas or anything I should basically try out or a place I should go to, let me know in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'm going to end it there. Make sure you guys check out the football podcast as well. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be back with a new video very, very soon. That's it from me. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.